Today I am talking about the weather, more specifically the winters here in Kent. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. For those of you that don't know, my name is Madeline. I am originally from Melbourne, Australia and I've been living here in Kent just over a year. So one of my biggest misconceptions about the UK is that it snows frequently throughout winter. That's what I thought. Moving here and finding out that it doesn't snow all that often. Some years there is no snow at all. If I want to see snow, I need to go further north. Having said that, last year I got to experience snow here in Kent and it was magical just because it was my first time seeing snowfall from my own home. I have seen snow like at the mountains and stuff but I have never seen snowfall from my kitchen window and that was pretty special. So as it doesn't snow as often as I thought, what is winter actually like? So in terms of temperature, it averages from about 10 degrees to zero. And it is not that far away from Melbourne's winter temperatures. Melbourne is around seven to 14 degrees. It gets cold in Melbourne in the winter, but here it feels a lot more colder. The wind is one of the reasons why it feels a lot colder. So I have noticed myself looking at the feels like temperature rather than the temperature just to gauge how cold it's going to feel. <laughs> For example, the other day it had 12 degrees on the weather app. So I looked at what it felt like, it felt like three degrees. So even though it looked like it was going to be quite warm, it was actually quite cold because of the wind. It is editing Madeline. I was watching back through my footage and I forgot to mention the main part about the weather that I was hoping to mention. So I'm just going to insert it here. It does rain, but not as often as I was expecting. And one of the things that did surprise me about the winters here is how much that I actually see the sun. I was expecting overcast days all the time. However, that is not the case as I have now found out. Um, I see the sun more often than I thought I would, which was quite surprising. And I also wanted to mention that for me, February is the coldest month in a winter. Both last year and this year, I have felt very cold. Anyway, back to the main video. One of my biggest struggles living here isn't actually the cold weather, it is the darkness. And I did travel around the UK in winter and I didn't really notice the darkness as much. I knew it got dark early, but I wasn't so affected by it. I don't really mind the long evenings, but it is the mornings that I struggle with. I cannot get out of bed without having an alarm set and it's just a struggle being so dark, waking up early. I find it hard and throughout winter I feel very tired because alarms for me are quite jarring so I feel like I haven't rested properly. So on the other side of that, during summer I can wake up so early without an alarm and I feel like I get more out of my day. Winter. Not so much, I'm not enjoying it and it's still a struggle for me in my second winter and I don't think I'll ever get used to it. I will always have to set an alarm in the morning because apparently I wake up only when it's light. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for how muddy things would be in part in my general day-to-day -day life. It's quite muddy and I've ruined a perfectly good pair of boots last year. So I have now prepared myself for the mud and how muddy it gets around the parks and the trails that I walk on. I would highly recommend either a pair of Wellington boots or hiking boots just if you are going out to the countryside or any kind of walking trail, hiking trail throughout winter. Otherwise, you can get away with just regular boots in towns and cities, that's fine. In terms of clothing, it really depends on where I'm going. So if I know I'm going to be inside most of the time, 
I don't rug up as much except if I'm working from home. I don't put the heater on because I feel guilty heating a whole house just for myself and so I will be rugged up in blankets in my thick house socks. Warm clothes just to stay warm and not put the heater on and it's fine. If I am feeling particularly cold I will walk around a bit, maybe do some housework just to get the blood moving around and warm myself up. So if I know I'm going to be out for most of the day, I will rug up appropriately for the weather. Only thing I find is jeans. They make me very cold on the legs. However, if I wear leggings, I don't have the same feeling of being cold, I guess because it's tighter on your skin. I tend to gravitate towards more skirts and dresses with stockings because it feels warmer than jeans or trousers. I don't know why. And I've also found a way to wear skirts more in the winter if I'm going to be outside like at the Christmas markets or something and I want to look nice. I will pop on some fleece tights underneath my regular tights and you cannot tell that they are fleece tights and they are super warm. That was a good tip that I found out this year and it works quite well. In terms of food, I gravitate towards comfort foods, things that will make me warm when I have been out all day. There is nothing better than coming home and having a hot cooked meal. It is so good. And British food is suited to cold weather. So they have so many dishes that just work well on a cold day, especially pub meals. They work very well in the winter and so a pub meal, being cozy by the fire at the pub, such a good experience. And that is one of my favourite parts of winter, having a fire and just being cozy around a fire, either watching TV or reading a book, is a nice way to relax in winter. So I like to stay active throughout the winter months. I try to go for a walk at least a mile every day. And walking for me is such a good mood booster as well as it is beneficial for my mental health. I feel so much better, especially if I'm stressed or like have a lot on my mind. Walking helps to clear my mind and I feel like I'm in a better headspace after I come back from a walk. As well as my walking, I have also incorporated vitamin D supplements into my diet. I read that the sun isn't strong enough between October and April I think it is. So I added it to my diet. For me personally I have extremely dry skin. My skin hates winter. I have to keep my hydration up as well as exfoliating and moisturizing. Even doing all those things. My skin still likes to have dry patches but I find that once I am in a routine throughout winter, it's not as bad as if I just didn't do anything. And my skin definitely hates me for having warm showers. <laughs> Those are my thoughts on the winter months and some of the things I do to help me get through the winter time. And as we get further into February, I am seeing signs of spring everywhere. And I am very excited because spring is my favorite season and I am so looking forward to some warmer weather. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I will see you next week. Bye for now.